I will call the Acton School Committee meeting Thursday, March 9, 2023 to order at this time and we'll begin by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome our um, Warren Finance Committee members here again tonight and any others who are visiting with us. And uh, are there any, at this time we'll go on to number two, are there any comments from the public? No, we need adjustments to the agenda first. Comes oh yes, before adjustments to the agenda. I do have some, yep. thank you. Um, and Jennifer was taking minutes. Yep. I'm gonna go slowly because there's, there's few. So what we're going to add for new business Excuse me, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change number three, Jen, which is AP Instructional Coach nomination to AP Instructional Coach Hiring Committee. When we get to that agenda six item, three. I'll explain. 6.3. Six three. Six three. Six three. Three. New, three. new business 6.3, I'm sorry. 6.3, AP Instructional Coach Hiring Committee. Then we're going to add a 6.4, which is Transportation Contract, FY24 to FY26 just peek up at me when you're done I'll do the last one mm -hmm. okay and then the last one is a six five okay. and that is to move funding out of capital reserve fund for freezer that's enough and then we'll get into it when we get to that one okay Right. And just for a point of order, we will transition into a budget meeting, and there is no executive session listed, so we'll end the meeting from uh, the budget meeting. Okay. Excellent. Thank yeah. you. All right, then. Let's move on to number three. <clears throat> to uh, look for a, mo a motion to accept the consent agenda, please. So moved. I'll second that. Okay. <coughs> Mary and Amanda. Any discussion? All in favor? All right. Do uh, any committee members have any questions or comments about any of the administrative reports that we got in our packet this week? No. I don't until we get to policy. All set on? Mm -hmm. All set on yep. those? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, then uh, we'll go on to the uh, superintendent's report. You bet. I just have a few bullets to update since we have met uh, 30 days ago. Uh, as you've noticed, there has been much snow that has arrived in the month of March, month of March, and it's been a blast opening up the sledding hill to the kids again. We've had a lot of fun with that, and we've been doing a rope. So the sledding hill is for grades three through five because it's it's a great hill. If you've ever been out there, catch it while there's snow on it. The K through two kids have a little hill inside by the um, inside the fence by the um, slide. So what's been really fun is I'll go out with three through five because you need an extra you need a body just on the hill. So that's me. And then I went around and made sure that K one two all had a chance to use the big hill. And I got so many thank you cards. It was just it was great. I had to share that with you. And the snow has been awesome. And I don't think it's going to stick around much longer because it's going to go fast in March. Um, we continue to focus on our ALICE training, uh, our new safety program, our ALICE training, and our ALICE trainer is wrapping up his individual classroom audits for, for safety. He's been working with Andy and I and, and doing a great job. Um, and uh, teachers did a great job with T1 report cards in Brightspace, and that's coming right up. So Patty's jockeyed some professional development time to allow them to get what they need to go back and remember, oh yeah, we need to post our grades, how do we do this? Because this is new. It's, uh, you do it once, you're not a master of it. So we're giving them the time and, and the expectation is that we have our online learning platform and it's robust and parents can see it, but they will also get a report card. It will be coming out before our next meeting. And uh, just lastly, I want to tip my hat one more time to Andy. It's crazy. These weekend storms come in and I'll text him maybe, how's it going? And he's like, we're great. And I show up on Monday and... 
the place is safe and good and just knocking it out of the park. And hopefully you don't have too many more, Andy. But <laughs> you, and you guys are doing a great job. Yeah, we got a good winter overall, so. Yeah. It all came once though, didn't it? It did. It did. <laughs> and that's all I have for tonight. Okay. <clears throat> I want to know who's, who's, I know you're out there supervising the third and fifth grade, but I, I want to know who's supervising you and the sheriff when you slept. Oh my God! Yeah, it was uh, we had a race. Uh, sheriff, deputy Deputy uh, Sheriff Sanborn and I raced down the hill, and uh, of course he has a little length advantage because he's about six six. But I still think I won the race. There's some debate there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. like maybe he won by the toe or something. Maybe. Right, maybe. It was, I it heard was it fun. was a tie. Yeah, it yeah. was a tie. That's what I'd like to think. <laughs> Okay, let's move on now then to, yeah, anybody have any questions or comments for John? Then let's move on to committee reports and we'll start with the policy committee. Okay, well, let's see. The first one, these are all uh, updates. Okay. GCSA, employee use of technology. Some of the changes were, we changed um, the word board to committee. And we, had, we did that. And then um, we're with superintendent and uh, designee, or superintendent <coughs> principal. Other than that, the words, well, well, no, down here on number three, it said we eliminated in child pornography. We omitted that, whatever was obscene to minors. And other things were all. Kind of redundant, like, yeah. yeah. We just figured because that it was, was covered. Redundant. Yeah. Thank you just, for mentioning that. Yeah, yeah. It was just all, it all made sense. Yeah, yeah. And a few that is a couple of spelling errors. Other than way. that, there really is no change. Just update from way what 2010, yeah. something like that. It's yeah. just a point of voting. I think it's important for the policy committee to uh, let the school committee know that. 511 through 515 can be taken as a block as a review. It's not clear in the agenda that 5116 is a new policy and we'll need <coughs> two readings. That was my question. And we'll need two readings. So tonight will be the first mm -hmm. reading and it'll show up as old business next month. Um, and also 5114, um, we're yes. recommending to delete that completely because we have two of the exact same okay. policies that are coded under different oh, things. Right. So this was the second one. Mm -hmm. So. We already have the yeah. literally the exact we don't same need one. Redundancy. We, don't yep. Yep. we didn't need to do that again. No. Nope. And the residency affidavit, there was a couple of spelling things that we changed, or, but nothing spectacular. It was um, physical residence needed a utility bill and don't need and driver's license. And um, the last paragraph was. You don't need to provide a purchase and sales agreement. Call the school if you want any more information about residency. And that was way back from 2012. So all of these are just being updated. I mean, the book is like this thick, believe it or not. Oh, I believe it. Well, let's do it this way. <clears throat> First of all, I will look for a motion to delete policy number 5114. Statement for free and reduced low price benefits. So moved. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? <clears throat> now I'll look for a motion to accept 5111, 5112, 5113, and 5115 as amended as of this date. So moved. I'll second. All in favor? Okay. And now <clears throat> we have 5116, JHC Naxalone policy, which is new, and I will look for a motion to accept that for a first reading. So moved. I'll second. <clears throat> now, why are we talking about this? In Would you like to start that? Building. I can fill in any blanks for you. Go right ahead. Um, Carol Wendell came to us and suggested that we implement this policy or adopt this policy um, just because it's a thing. So naloxone is um, Narcan. So for anybody out there, um, when someone overdoses, you, they get a shot of naloxone and it 
brings them back. Um, and it is not a drug that can hurt anyone. So like if I shot Amanda right now, nothing would happen to her. Up, up the nose. It's up the nose. Yeah. Up okay. the nose. Sorry. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so with the school being a place where people come for basketball games and other um, town events, uh, Carol thought it would be good to have it here in the school just for, because there are not so much for the kids oh, in the school, yeah. but for the right. adults, adults in the community who okay. use yeah. the school as a place to do things. Yeah. Yeah, out of curiosity, does the town have that at the town hall? I don't know. I no. do know no. that no. more and more public places no. are keeping them right. with their AEDs. Right. So that's, right. that's my guess. I guess the town yeah. or the fire department would be my thought. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I think it's smart to have it yeah. at the school where a lot of events happen. You get people from other towns, people exactly. from here. It doesn't Un hurt. You know, unfortunately, we have to come to yes. this. Yeah. Yeah. There was a thing in the news the other day about this particular uh, product, uh, and there were some side effects. I don't recall at this time what that was in the news, uh, but I do remember that this subject came up in the news about uh, some problems. Yeah, but it's better than death. It's, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> a side effect. Yeah. It's, it's given up the ghost anyway. Mm -hmm. right, right. But it's also something that I think pretty much they have it now that any person could go into a pharmacy and say, hey, I have a concern about someone I know. I want to have this on hand and you yeah. can get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so wow. You can get it without a prescription. No. Yeah. There's no yeah. secondary market for this. Nobody's no. going to steal it and sell it to somebody. No. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And Carol also said that the, um, the <coughs> school's dose would be covered by grants and things that she... Yep. Good that she gets. Good. Yeah. So it's yeah. free. And your packets have a lot of information yes. in it. Of course, the policy is on top. That's all we right. really need to adopt. But the information was for the board to yeah. Yeah. have the questions. Yeah. Great. So we already have a motion to accept that for our first reading by Mary and a second by CJ. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Um, not being very familiar with the school, I'm taking it from the discussion that there is no current need or use for naloxone in the school right for any students. That's correct. correct. Okay. correct. Next question was <coughs> where, where are we planning on storing this or having it available and we, who is going to have access? So that would be my decision working with our nurse who's considered our health officer and currently in committee we just discussed perhaps with the AED once this policy goes through we'll make a decision on the best place and the reason we're thinking Charlie AD is because it has access to the gym it's right there right, and that that's where question. everybody if goes. If you look at having in the nurse's office. No, no, no it needs <laughs> right. to be out. Correct. Because there's forward. a very good chance if it's being used it's going to be when kids aren't in the building. It's going to be a nighttime right. event. Yeah. That's our guess. So it's probably going to be right there but to answer the question I haven't decided yet. I'll okay. take it under consideration. That's probably good it. Enough. Yeah. Okay. Any further discussion? We're ready for a vote. All those in favor? <clears throat> All right, let's move on now to 5-2 Long Range Planning Committee. Yes, we met tonight and first thing we were looking at the proposals for fixing the roof. Um, we're talking about the flat part of the roof that goes from basically the main office over to the 57 wing. <coughs> so it's the flat roof. Um, so we're still waiting on one other quote and then we'll make a decision on what to do because we want to do it this upcoming fiscal year. The other thing, um, we just quick mentioned that um, the kitchen freezer isn't going to last, so we would like to move the funds, and that's going to come up later on at 6.5. So we'll do that then. Okay. Anybody have any questions for the Long Range Planning Committee? Okay, thank you. How's the dishwasher? That's on, you know. That's coming up for FY26. We have probably to prioritize the kitchen equipment. And that, that one looked like it was moving more towards we're going to get a few years out of it. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, then let's move on to number six, new business. Okay. So these, there's a number of these here. So the first one is something that the school committee um, deals with mo most years. It depends on the snow. And for a while, I thought we were going to have an open winter. I wasn't sure what this winter was going to look like. Um, 
and we've had uh, enough snow days. So this is this is interesting. Our calendar for this school year, the way it works, is when we adopted this calendar approximately a year ago. You never know when you know you have your days you have to meet, and then you have you know snow days that are not built in. So if you have a snow day, you have to make that up. A lot of there's been some discussion. Don't you build in your snow days, and then you get out early? No, you. You build a calendar and then you take your snow days as you take your snow days. So right now in this school year, we're targeted without snow days to get out June 15th at 12.30, which is um, a Thursday. If we add in our snow days, it literally brings us to a week after, which is June 22nd at 12.30, which is Yeesh. a Thursday. So my proposal to you as i've done in the past i'm doing it earlier this year because we have it worked out perfectly we looked at this twice patty and i if we move to change erd wednesday starting the 15th which is the next wednesday of the calendar that's a week from yesterday if we make a move as we have in the past to have children stay till 2 30 and we remove the early release for the rest of the school year we will have the teachers stay for their committed professional development that hour, but they'll stay after school. It won't be the children leave and they get professional development. It'll be the children stay and they get to bed. So it won't be early release. It'll just be a PD day every Wednesday moving forward. That will, without another snow day, that'll take us right back to the original day of Thursday at 1230, the 15th. Well, we also have March 17th. We added that, that already. So, yes. that's it. so we, we got that day back. So that's with March 17th okay, being the school day. school day. We could absorb another school day, which would, we, if we had another snow day, now we're looking at Friday at 1230 the 16th. Mm. Anything other than that, it moves us into the weekend. And then what's interesting is Monday's a federal holiday oh, right. now. Oh, then right. you'd be having your kids come back Tuesday for two and a half hours. So I'm looking at a parent right here, and I know what the, kids, <laughs> the teachers are feeling, and I don't know how the kids are feeling, but if you make this move, the kids Which will Monday? get an extra hour a day on Wednesday. Gotcha. We'll keep the teachers, and pending no more than one school day, snow day, we'll be right around our target, our original target date. Two snow days, we're gonna, we're gonna end up coming back after a holiday for two and a half hours, and I just don't see families being like, we're going to stay here for four days to come back for two and a half hours because yeah. we've been down that road before i'm just saying that's what it is so i'm, I'm kind of recommending that you take take the vote the motion would be to um then i can help you with it would be to just basically end school at 2 30 on wednesday starting on the 15th i'll patty and i'll take care of the professional development piece if you make that decision i'll get a memo right out to parents saying next wednesday starting next wednesday mm -hmm. buses pick up everything will be just like it is monday tuesday thursday friday nothing changes and it's good to let parents know because some of them may have a plan for Wednesdays because it's now earlier than every other day. Yeah. And I need to give them some heads up time so they'll probably come up tomorrow. <coughs> no. Is this anything that has to go through contractually? Does this have no. to go through? No, I did all my, all my homework as I've done in the past. Mm -hmm. I met with both um, the support staff union and the teachers <coughs> union. You know, if they were going to fight this or it didn't work for them, I wouldn't push it. But I showed them the dates and I said, yeah, it, it's uncanny how the times line up. Another snow day doesn't line up so much, but another snow day still doesn't get us into the Monday holiday. Right. And they, put, you know, pulled their people and got back to me, both presidents, and said, no, we're good with it. You, know, you can move forward with it. So I said, you know, right, when we get together with the school committee, I'll make the pitch. It's, it's up to you because it's the calendar. Mm -hmm. Only you can change the school calendar. Um, and if you do it, I'll get right on it. You know, you know, I'll do that, and I'll get it right out the door. So, um, yeah, that's the proposal. So I'll look for a motion to eliminate the early, e the early release on Wednesdays for the remainder of the school year, and um, adjust the calendar accordingly. Accordingly. So moved. Yeah. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Just to know for me, I appreciate the accordingly because if we get another snow day, I'm going to have to adjust it to Friday, and I hate to come back from one day. So you've given me that, Bob. Thank you. That's good. Okay, six two is the update yep. on your safety planning. I put it in my packet, but not everybody sees the packet that goes out, and um, I just wanted to let the public know that we continue with our Alice training, and we're doing a really really good job and I networked just this morning with another school official about changing our safety procedures and changing in a bigger district and 
we started this process maybe three and a half months ago, and we're already, to le already at a level where people feel empowered to take the procedures in their own classroom and do what they may as they've been trained. Bigger districts aren't even where we are yet. Again, small school, you can move a smaller ship quicker than you can a bigger ship. Everything is going really well with this. I'm thinking, just to put it out there, when we open school next year, I don't think it's prudent to do it in June, but when we open school, when people are thinking, okay, we're back, what does school look like this year, that we have some sort of a parent night around some of this. Because there are some significant changes, and a lot of this can be discussed. There are very few secrets about what we do around student safety anymore. Mm -hmm. um, because you can find on the internet just about anything you want. So yeah. we use plain, plain language, we don't do code, and, and it's, it's a nice program, and we're <coughs> training, and we've been trained, and I think by the time we open school, maybe we could do an additional to the whatever the open house is. If you're interested, come a half hour early and I'll give you a quick presentation on what, what it is this year we'll be doing with your children to keep them safe. I think that's good. That's yeah. a good yeah. idea. I, I'd like to shoot for June, but people's minds in June aren't really no, about school. I think June. it really is a, it's a September thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're not together enough on this to do it any sooner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was just more of a public service announcement. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. AP Instructional. Six three. That was a change in, 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 in the way that this was written under new business because um, we need to put together a hiring committee and because it's a permanent administrative position, um, I, I spoke with Judy and we'd like a school committee member on that. Um, so just so the school committee knows, I will have representation from every cohort and they've already told me who it is they'd like to send to the committee. I will be on the committee. Um, Paula most likely will be on the committee and then we'll um, look for one of you and once you volunteer and sign up. This doesn't require a vote, by the way. I'll work around your schedule. My best guess is we will we'll probably have a couple of interviews after school one day. I just need to know whoever volunteers will work around your schedule and pick the day around you. And we should, we, we would really want to do this before the next April, excuse me, the next school committee meeting in April, so that if we have an internal candidate that works for the school system, we can nominate and, and move on from there. Okay. okay, so I'll, I'll leave that to you, Judy, how All you right. want right. to do that, okay? Yeah. I nominate <laughs> CJ. I was told I'm volunteering. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, let's do it. <laughs> Voluntold, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Julie, you I told you, I like this. Sure. With a smile. Thank you, CJ. Thank Thank you. Thank you. It was much. nice of you to volunteer like that. Oh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll email you and reach out for dates. Sure. You tell me what you do. <laughs> Sounds good. Excellent. Thanks so much. All right, 6 4, transportation contract. That's another one I added. So. Tonight at the budget meeting, one of the articles, Article 9, we'll be looking at is transportation to include it in next year's fiscal year budget. But our contract runs out in June, so I need a contract adopted for us to look at that budget item tonight in just a little bit. I gave the school committee a packet with all the information in it and the bid, and um, tonight we can look at you know what that how that price compares to last year's, and then I can talk about the next three years, but we really want to focus on next year for tonight's budget meeting. Um, the one thing I am happy to say is it's our, uh, the recommendation is from our current um, Southern Maine Administrative Collaborative, it's a company who's running our buses. We're pretty happy with them. Their price was competitive, so that's my recommendation to you and you have the whole packet there. Mm -hmm. With an affirmative vote, we can move into that tonight. If it is not an affirmative vote, we'll pick up those pieces and figure out where we go next. Has everybody had a chance to look the packet over? Yes. yes. But it was the only bid we got. Correct. So, but they've been very good. They have. Yeah. And I remember when they first came to us. Um, I don't think they knew what they got into, I and think we you're did right. very well in the last contract because <laughs> prices went up and we were paying the same. So mm -hmm. we did very good. Now they're gonna make up for it, I'm sure. <laughs> No, I mean, price of fuel is, yeah. I mean, diesel yeah. is outrageous. Yeah. So. <clears throat> it has gone up quite a bit. When I see Article years, 9, you're yeah, saying sorry. it's 10.88% or what? Overall, right? Overall. No, just for the. Just for the bus. That line. Yeah. I so, don't have that budget okay. piece in front of me. We went over these today. Oh, okay. So you're looking at a 10% in increase mm -hmm. from the last year of the last mm -hmm. contract to the first well, year guess. of the new contract. No, a contract-wise, I guess it's the 12.35, Paula? 
Right. We don't actually, the life of the contract, we don't have the overall on that. All we have is the one year, which one is next. Year. Oh, right. I, right. I know what you're asking. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That, that, yes. that would be doing the math from the last right, right, contract right. to this one. Yeah. So what we're looking at right now is for uh, FY24? That's correct. Okay. That's correct, because we do a budget one year at a time. Well, it's a budget, but, <laughs> but the contract, contract is three years. Right. Yeah, and you have the numbers right there in front of you. So we asked, uh, Mary and I asked you about it before, but we would keep all the same bus drivers and stuff. All everything the same stay bus the same. drivers, the drop chains, everything in the contract we passed when we first did business with them. It's basically the same contract. The increase in prices is just the inflation on the fuel and uh, the labor side of it, the drivers. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it's basically the same thing and what is really good is when we have a bus that goes down, we have replacements available and we um, we have way less of a bus driver issue than most districts have had. I think that's mm -hmm. easing a bit, but that was tricky for a lot of districts. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We never really, we never canceled a bus run due to not having a driver. We have had to change yeah. bus runs because the bus wouldn't start. Yeah. We've had some interesting reasons to change a bus run, but not because we didn't have a driver. Mm -hmm. So that's that's gone well and shows they mm -hmm. stick around. Yeah. yeah. And also yeah. because our superintendent is uh, a bus driver. I can drive a bus. bus. Mm -hmm. That's that just, helps just a little reason to help. Yeah. So we'll bus A. It helps. Just another hat. Just another hat. All right. So then I will look for um, a motion to approve the transportation contract with the Southern Maine Administrative Collaborate for the years 24, 25, and 26. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're moving on now to 6-5 and we're going to talk about the freezer. Right, so the freezer's on its last legs, I think even today was it worked on? Yes. Ah, so, um, we need to take some money from our capital repair reserve fund and get it fixed. So, we the motion would be to spend up to 15000 from the capital repair reserve fund to um, go for the kitchen freezer repair. Okay, and that motion is coming from you, from your committee. Correct? Correct. Okay. Second on that. Yep, I'll second. Any further discussion? Well, Andy did get a couple quotes for it, so. And uh, the people that fix the cooler. Yes. Is a good one to, yep. to fix the freezer part, too. Yep. So there were so bids. So yeah. we refrigeration out of a rundle. And we knew this was needed. Yes. This, we've been talking about this for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is coming under the capital reserve? It's coming out yeah. of okay. yes, capital. Yes, capital. Okay. Repair. So the motion is yeah. to move up to fifteen thousand dollars <coughs> from that account. There's a hundred thousand that they put right. in yeah. Okay. Yeah. last year. Right here. Yeah. Fifteen thousand per repair seems like a lot of money. What would the life of that be? Why are we buying them? that? Fifteen thousand per repair is more the way to go other than a replacement. Is that a repair? Is that a replacement? This, a replacement. this, is, this is a replacement. Go ahead, Andy. Why don't you, it's, it's hard to envision what a replacement for a walk-in. Can you give us just yeah, a little bit because it's that a walk-in. That's, you don't yeah, I know, I, one. I, I know what a walk-in is. Basically, it's replacing all of the components. <coughs> there's components inside the freezer itself and there's okay. components outside Yeah, the box well. is staying. Mm -hmm. right. Right. And box you're stays, replacing but, everything on the inside. Yes. But pretty much all the components. And the, the outside. The set, all of it. Okay. Um, and that's like 1990-ish Yeah, is when that one was installed, I believe. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at a pretty, you know, 25 to 30 year life expectancy once it's replaced. Right. What about the refrigerant that you're going to? That is kind of out of my wheelhouse, but it's it's all, it's not the old R13, obviously. It's the newer stuff that, that they use. R12. Okay, that's real. So, but that's, that's a turnkey package, just to recover the old refrigerant and Dispose of everything and install all the new components. Yep. Yeah, so, and like Amanda said, we've used this company in the past. They're very reputable and they did a really good job um, the last time we used them. So, thank you, Andy. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. What is your and they were cheaper been? than the other one. <laughs> I'm sorry. What has your life cycle been on your freezer? Or this is the first time you've had to replace it? This is the first time it's been replaced. And when was that one installed? 
1992. 1990-1992-ish. <coughs> okay, we have good luck. Okay, any other discussion? Just to make you feel better, Andy, he was really 89. 89? <laughs> 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 well, we get another year or two out of so it. You got, than I thought. You, you got, you know, <laughs> Good job. Five years. Five years. Yeah. All right, are we ready to vote then? All those in favor of transferring the money out of the account for the freezer? So signify. By the note. And we have nothing else? No, we have quite a budget meeting ahead of us tonight, though. So okay. I would, yeah, I'd recommend getting your coffee or your snacks ready. Right <laughs> well, we, we're going to change oh, the gonna tables around. We're gonna well, uh, yeah. No, I said you may want to no, get so your snacks. Oh, you got snacks? I brought snacks. I Nice. Yeah, and I'll rearrange the room. We'll take a recess after you close. Yeah. Okay. I think somebody must have a meeting Monday. She brought snacks tonight. What time is it? Oh, she must have been no. a meeting on Monday. No, she's not. No, she's, she's not. No, she's buttering us up anyway. Do you want to <laughs> adjourn? Do you want I know to the way you probably will adjourn. I'll look for a motion to adjourn this uh, school committee meeting and move into our budget meeting with the warrant and finance committee. I'll make a motion to adjourn at 534. Second. All in favor? Okay.